Good morning. Oh, it is Saturday the 10th. Saturday the 10th of December. And we have had snow here in the northwest, but it's just a little bit. <laughs> it's nearly midday, so what has um, fallen has melted. It's melted, yeah, on the grass. It's very cold outside. Dogs have been in and out, in and out. Right, <laughs> back at the kitchen table. Um, I'm not dressed. Oh, yeah, it is nearly just gone 11 o'clock. Um, I've had a lazy morning this morning in the sense of I didn't get up till after nine o'clock. I feel so much better after having some sleep. So I've just been working on a project for my granddaughter, which you would have seen her on was it yesterday's vlog. They came over on. Yeah, come over yes, yesterday. And I am seriously having to rethink my advent projects. Because like most crafters, we always underestimate how much everything is going to take us. And we want to make everything. Um, one of the things I wanted to make, well, one of the things I wanted to buy for my granddaughter this Christmas was a dress, a red dress, Christmas dress, which I managed to find and it's beautiful, but it's got short sleeves. So she needs a little cardigan to go with it. And my daughter said, oh, should I go and buy one? I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> I will make one. So I went through my stash and I found this little um, pattern. I hope that's too, not too much of a glare for you. So it's a little um, oh, Bolero cardigan. It's got really cute, like scalloped. Is it scallop? No, frilly, frilly edge. Um, and it's a, uh, is it Serda? It's a Snuggly Kisses DK um, pattern. So I went to my scrap box and lucky enough, I had um, some um, Starcraft special DK, oops, double knitting yarn. And I it was when I was making those crowns for the Jubilee. I think we just used a little bit. I didn't even weigh it, but I thought I'm bound to I'm making six to 12 months. I'll have enough. So this is what I've been working on um, sometime last week. I've just been sitting here thinking this morning. We were just so crazy busy. My majority of my knitting is in the evening, or my crafting time is in the evening, with perhaps an odd bit it's in the in the week or maybe an afternoon at the weekend. So Monday night we had the boys, so I had very little time. Uh, they slept over, Alfie and Freddie. Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, Mr. Jacks went out. Yay! <laughs> so I kind of just, yeah, I think this is when I cast, I'd cast this, the back on for this. Um, and I finished, was sort of finishing that off, I think. And then Wednesday, oh, Wednesday we had our, was it Wednesday we had our date with Fred? It's all sort of rolling into one. And then, what was it, was that last week? And then, um, but anyway, time's got away with me. But I've managed to knit the back, knit the two little fronts. So they're going to go on like that. So I've sat this morning and I've cast on the sleeve, one sleeve. So I've got this to do. Um, so that's coming along. And then I've just, you have to do um, a few garter stitches for the edge and my idea is to do the frill in red and maybe even have a go at making like a little red crochet flower that I could like put on um, but looking at that I don't know whether I'll have the space and how it would look but we will see we will see and I was sort of kind of giving myself a bit of a hard time and then I'm thinking no stop stop knit what you what makes you happy at the beginning of the month I think I, I was knitting yeah I was knitting a Christmas jumper for Reuben which wasn't something I had on my list but it was something I wanted to put in no I think I was doing it in November and I just finished it off in November uh, in December so that's done and then I'd been asked been given a commission to make him a jumper and I've done that and that has brought me great pleasure and my crafting isn't supposed to be 
to a timetable. Um, you know, to knit this, this and this, or make this, this and this, even though a lot of us want to make this, this and this. So that's done, um, and I'm happy with that. So I'll pick this up. This, well, I was sitting here this morning thinking, right, this is my last project, and then I can go back to my advents, and I'm going to have a look at my advents and make a decision. I still want to do my toft, um, and I want to sort those socks out. That's what I've got to sort out next. So that's that, and I'm really happy with it. And yes, it is acrylic making no um apologies for that it's in my basket something else that i've used up and it will be worn um you know for i don't know the, the next few months really i've already bought her a dress for christmas as well which is navy it's got a little peter pan collar and it's got beautiful smocking or well, it's like not navy perhaps a royal blue it's got little flowers on and it's got red in it so this will go with this as well so she's got two outfits so yes oh excuse me it's just caught under the camera um she's growing thick and fast brought the moses basket back that well they've all slept in um so hopefully um if anybody's watching and they've bought it and they haven't opened it look away now and i'll just try to um delete that piece where i showed you and i will say um to to look back so look at this. Oh my word, how beautiful is this fabric? She's so clever. She is so clever. I find it so difficult to resist when she puts something up. And I absolutely love these little these little knots. They're something that Tim does, but they are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So this was in this was in the in the bag. This is the little notions pouch to go with it. It's just like the attention to detail. Look at these. Oh my word, look at his little cute face. So that was in there. And then look at this. And it's a little um, stitch marker progress keeper. A little gingerbread house. Oh my word, I absolutely adore that. Loved uh, gingerbread men. And then look at all these stitch markers. Oh my word, so I'm going to use use these. Look, there's a gingerbread man, there's a bell, there's a snow globe. What else is there? Yeah, snowman. Let me see, yeah, another snow globe. Oh, just so pretty, so pretty. I've got the camera the wrong way round because I'm still in my nighty. Mr Jack's um, didn't have a good night's sleep. So he got up, let me have a sleep, and then he's gone back to bed. So I'm very conscious that not going in and disturbing him there's a little bookmark and i've got a new book so that is just the ticket so pretty and she's into all her um, junk journaling oh my word she's so inspiring she really is and there is all this it's too too beautiful to use but i will use it so yes and then i have a little pencil i do love a pencil and there's some writing on here I wonder if the camera's going to pick it up. Oh, there we are. Time to unwind. Yeah. And this is what it's supposed to be about today. I've given my day off. And I'm sure if any of you are retired or not working for whatever reason, it's really hard to have a day off. All your days mingle into one. So I think that was part of the reason I was just able to relax last night because I knew that I wasn't going to do anything. But saying that... What have I done? I've tidied around the kitchen. It wasn't. We have like an all-in-one room. It wasn't uh, filthy, but I've, you know, I don't know, just a bit of clutter. So I've sorted that out today. Um, I've hoovered around. I've washed all the dogs' baskets out. I've, um, yeah, I'm about to change all their bedding. I'm, I've stripped it all. About to do that, and then I've got to decorate the Christmas tree, and I will show you in a little while. Um, oh, my favourite. Love green and blacks uh, chocolate, and then. Look at this, a little Cadbury's instant hot chocolate. That'd be a nice treat. Yeah, hot drinks. I've had a cup of tea or oh, a char latte. Maybe myself a char latte. Normally that's an afternoon treat. But look at this. Oh my word. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So all those little things were in that box. So look away now. <laughs> yeah, look back now. <laughs> and uh, hold on a minute, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, look back and it's all disappeared. 
Right, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, sort of baskets I've just done. Um, yeah, just catching up on some vlogmas. Hope that's not too busy, that flashing uh, tree. So I have one decoration. <laughs> and it's been there for a couple of days. So yeah, that's our very late queen. And I think I have one more, or I thought I had. Let me just see if I can find Yes, I do. And it's here. It looks like, yeah, it's the Queen Soldiers on Parade. So for anybody that hasn't been here before, um, I have a slight London theme in my kitchen that started with these pictures. We went into a gallery. They're only um, prints. Um, and I just fell in love with them. And when it was a Queen's golden jubilee we put them up in our old house in the kitchen we had a red wall and i just loved them so when we moved here brought them here so that's piccadilly circus in london and that's the houses of parliament westminster bridge um so i have a christmas tree that has all london decorations on i kind of picked them up over time um a lot are from uh london when we've been somewhere, for instance, this is Winston, Winston Churchill. Um, we'd gone to London for our anniversary, which is the end of October, and we'd been to the bunker rooms, and it was absolutely amazing. I'm fascinated, you know, by history, World War Two, and we just happened to go to one of the shops, and we saw that, so we thought, right, that can go on the tree, um, and things that are very sort of iconic like british uh post box the robins you know at christmas um the london telephone boxes i think they were marks and spencers the underground i absolutely adore the underground going on the underground not commuting <laughs> but just literally and i have a corgi yes my sixth dog for the queen and i think he was a purchase at liberty my husband my daughter and i my eldest daughter and i went down to the knit and stitch show um, a couple of times and went to Liberty's and we just bought a couple of things and I think this is it from one of the tat shops does it say what it say on there yeah I don't know um, I love it so that's on the tree and then we have things like Bond Street Knightsbridge <laughs> Sloan Square and Oxford Street in um, London and these are landmarks in London, um, Shakespeare Theatre, Tate Modern, St Paul's Cathedral, things that are iconic to uh, London. And we've got Leicester Square, let's hold it a bit closer so I can read it, um, the National Gallery, um, Nelson's Column, yeah, to name a few. Um, one of the things my daughter and I try to do when, when we do go down to the Knit and Stitch Show, I don't think we've only been twice, but we try and um, have a bit of culture. And we went to um, the Tower of London, oh my word, and it was beautiful. It was, like, it was the end of October and we went and it was like a, a dark and misty day with like a little bit of um, rain, but it was lovely. We absolutely loved it. So I thought, right, I need to put that on my tree. This is the Rook. Um, that they keep at the Tower of London. And the guy that was narrating the story, oh my word, he was amazing. And there was a cheeky, cheeky rook that was on a bench. He was massive, but was telling everybody off. Um, love a taxi, love a black cab. It makes me feel like I'm at home, that I'm safe. Um, I love going down to London and going in the um, black cabs, oh my word. And this is a decoration from her golden, yeah, golden jubilee, look at that. So we have Big Ben, yeah, London bus. Oh, this is Anne Boleyn. We'd gone and it was, was it 500 years since Anne Boleyn, I think she, since she was beheaded. <laughs> and the history of um, Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn um, is really significant and really worth looking up for British um, history. So we have the crown. We can get this out of the box. And that goes on. And then I have another one of these decorations and I'm trying to tie them on really well. These are my, I've got two like really expensive um, decorations. I think this is like 
landmarks in London. And I have two little ones coming this year and I don't want um, these pulled off the tree and broken. So if I tie them on and tie them up high, that'll be okay. I don't want to be, I don't want to be too precious, you know, when the, chil when the children are around. Oh, and this, yeah, I think this might be, have been our last purchase. Look at this. So you've got London Eye, red telephone box. I love all the glitter. Um, London Bridge. Uh, Horse Guard. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my word. That signifies Christmas in London for me. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I should have held it a bit clearer. Nearer, shouldn't I? Um, and then, oh, I'm just going to pause the camera because I've just realised I should have got this out. As many people will know, we lost our Queen um, on the 8th of September and she had reigned 70 years and, um, yeah, she was 96. I mean, it was a bit of a shock that it happened and we're now in a new era. Um, we have her son, King Charles III. He hasn't been crowned yet, that will be next year. But my daughter treated me to a new decoration and this is what she bought and she found this on Etsy for me and I'm going to put it on my tree. Queen Elizabeth II, 1926 to 1922. She was the most amazing woman, a real feminist icon. Um, you know, she wasn't supposed to be queen. She came by default and she never put a foot wrong. She served her country for 70 odd years with no no opinions and uh, she kept sort of everything to herself hmm. so yeah that's going to go on my tree i just need to think about where to place it all right oh i've got, I've got your full face on is that all right mm. no oh, I have to be... yay Is it on? <laughs> there you go. Oh, lovely. What do you think? Very nice. Can you just turn the lights off? I don't know whether it'd be too dark, but just so that we can see the effect. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, I've got the cushion in as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. What do you think, Elon? You impressed with the tree? What about you, Maximus? Hey, Maximus, where you been? You just come back from our walk. You need a good old dry, don't you? Look at you. Where have you been? Hey? <laughs> You're so mucky. Oh, my word. You've been down by that pond. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Look at all of you. Look at all of you. Oh, he's so loyal and mad Bob over there. Hey, you waiting for your basket to be ready? What about you, Bailey? Yeah. Just sitting there waiting. Just sitting there sleeping, having a doze in the afternoon. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the fact that we've just finished eating. Been very naughty. We're eating on our laps. Yes, a very, well, late lunch. <laughs> oh. My tree's finally done. Look, it's so pretty. I must be the maddest person um, to have a sort of London-themed royal tree. <laughs> so I've got my carriage. I saw that when I went to Buckingham Palace. Oh, look at the signs. Look at the cute little robin. Oh my word, oh my word, look. And we have the sixth dog in the house and the jacks are fine. Look at the gorgeous corgi. Oh my word. Oh, it just it brings me so much joy. Oh my word. Yeah, look. <laughs> And I've just put up here the decoration my daughter bought me this year to add to the tree. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. 
and the husband just put the crown on the tree. That's his job every year. I'm very, very happy. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Get out, it's clean. Oh, what are you doing, Bailey? Oh. Right, are you going to let me move this basket? Are you going to let me move this basket? Oh my word, look at Barney. Right, so what's going to happen with the second one? Do you think they react exactly the same? Are we ready, boys and girl? Yeah, let's see if you can try and put a button piece underneath, please. Are they going to get in? Oh, Max, not seeing you so frisky. Look at him. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, they got to snuggle down now. Hey, okay. watch your afternoon film. Oh, they want to chew, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know whether I quite caught that or not. Are you limping, Max? Oh my word, you're limping, what's wrong? You okay? That's because you jumped out of the basket, you silly thing. Hey Maxie, come to me. Are you limping? Maximus, how many have you got, Bailey? You're going to end up in the Christmas tree. Oh, you've got two. Oh, you're cheeky. Your dad can't count. Okay. Oh, okay. I think Max has got a limp. That's from. Now watch him. Oh. Okay. Well, you got princess? Eh? You have your biscuits served on your mat, don't you? Eh? Oh, there you are, Bailey. Bobby. Oh. Hello, my lovelies. Well, day has run away with me. Um, I promised to come on and speak to you. And I'm not going to moan or woe me. I slept in, I got some sleep. Look at this. Yay! <laughs> this is the face that looks like it has had some sleep. A smile. And I've just had, yeah, a little bit of a pottering day. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I'm happy, very happy. Um, so I think I've spoken to you through the camera because um, I didn't get dressed till, well, Probably about an hour ago and it is oh i've got my watch on it's just before six just after six my husband's just said to me come on come on england are playing so um, yeah we've been watching the world cup oh my word did you see argentina and the netherlands last night oh <laughs> it, well a good game for a lot of the wrong reasons that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say so um yes I haven't knitted on my sock at all because I've just been, yeah, and I have made, I think I have made the right decision, but I'm going to start on my second sock just to see the way the colourway goes. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, let me just have a sip. Um, it's not mulled wine. It's not mulled wine. Oh, do you know what? That's lovely. That is really lovely. It is. Ribena. Winter spice. Um, yeah, and you can have it served hot. I always gave my children when they were younger, uh, when they came in, it was cold. Or you know when you come, you know when it rains, always on a school run. <laughs> and you come home and you like, get their coats off, like dry all their hair and everything. Yeah, you put warm clothes on for them, and everything. Yeah, swarm their clothes on the radiator. Oh my word, they were like pampered, pampered. And then I'd sort of make them hot juice and biscuits. Probably homemade in those days as well. Oh my word. <laughs> um, I, I've been editing as well, so I'm up to date um, with my editing, and I'm at 23 minutes. So you can always tell 
you can always tell if I'm if I've had some sleep, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep this really short. It's already two minutes. I promise I'm looking down here because I promise that I would come on and show you my progress on <laughs> Cherry Hearts um Bubbles and Berries wrap, which is absolutely gorgeous. And the one person I'm behind of all my vlogs that I'm watching, but the one person that I've seen that is making this is Davina from Little Workroom Crafts. Oh my word, go and have a look at what she has um crocheted um so far. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. So it's a beautiful pan, and it is she's hit the nail on the head, it's filet crochet, which um I don't think I was fully aware of. As I say, my crochet is, it's progressing. It's progressed this year. Yes, I can say, oh, I've done two uh, top dolls, so I feel that I've, yeah, up my, up my game. <laughs> but I've decided that I am going to put this to one side. I'm working, going to use my Yarny Corners um, Advent Yarn, which I've been really happy, like, to, like opening it and seeing all the beautiful colours. But it's, uh, it's, I'm getting a bit, pressurized at the moment so i'm just putting it to one side and that's fine right you ready you ready that you've tuned in for this progress update and it's not because i can't do it i can do it um i think i probably will have to sit and think about it it says um you have to be an intermediate crocheter which i think that's where i am um an intermediate crocheter in the sense of I can do a little bit of fudging now and again. <laughs> so, da -da, da -da 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 -da. so, I think that's okay. Yeah, so I'll show you this way. Oh my word, look, it's so pretty. And one thing about um, that I really liked, apart from the beautiful design, um, is the lack of ends that you have to sew in, and the fact that as you're working it, I don't know if, I, yeah. Heaviest stitch mark in the world. Um, you can put in your border up. So once you get to the top and you finish that end, you have finished your two ends to sew in your starter end and your finished end. So I don't want to. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to take the enjoyment out of it. So I am so happy that I'm putting this to one side. So I'm a toft. I haven't. I, I was hoping to do some toft today, but I didn't. I had to get that tree finished in the kitchen. It takes me forever, um, but that's finished now. So my priority tomorrow will be to sit and have some toft time. Oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, here's number 10. And I hope it's not one of those feather things. Right, let's just open this. Excuse the rustling. There we are. Oh, it's over. It's like... Um, Ripping a plaster off. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Some more beads. Oh, my word. This is going to be challenging. So once this, I want to spend my time with this and make sure that I understand it. So it's probably good that I am on day 10. I've only completed day three. <laughs> that's my reasoning. So that's top. And then let's have a look. It's day 10, isn't it? Oh, here we are. That was easy. Up my, up my yarny corner. Oh, my the colours are so lovely. I'll get as high as a kite now, aren't I? That's too much um, sugar. Oh, I don't know. No, it says sugar. Oh, it says no. Added sugar. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at those colours. Oh, if any of you saw Alex today from yesterday, um, yeah, a little rosy, naughty little rosy had got into her advent as rude or how she was so calm on camera. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my word. Look at that. Right. I'll do like a layout as well tomorrow yeah and um, show you how everything is oh there's something else in there oh my word I haven't seen one of these for years oh my word I'm going to watch my fillings 
at that. Highland topping. Right. Okay, I'm going to go and add this on. Oh my word, it's already at seven minutes. I can't add, edit anything out. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll um, go and edit this, get it up, and then I'll come back to you tomorrow and we'll have a proper, proper cup of tea together. Right, good night, my lovies. I hope England win and I'll see you in the morning.